whole life has been known to be in this type of environment, you know, having someone hold her on her finger and talk in front of groups. So she's not as disturbed by it as a wild bird would be. But she, we try to keep her and have her life be as wild as possible. However, it's pretty tricky when you're a captive owl from day one. What happened was, I shouldn't say day one, but almost day one, as a tiny baby, she was found sick on the ground and she had West Nile disease. And so she, someone took her to a rehabilitation center at Reggie, which is in Anago, Wisconsin. And they, they fixed her so she's completely healthy and no pain at all anymore. You know, a lot of birds that get found are just euthanized because that's what would happen to them in the wild and that's where they should have probably just been left. Because if they have a broken wing or a broken leg, she's tired. <laughs> broken wing or a broken leg, well, that's just gonna happen. They're gonna die and they're gonna be in pain if, for probably most of their life. But like I said, she's completely healed. So she's a happy, healthy bird. She just does not live in the wild. If you were to feel her chest, it feels real small. Um, not bony, but just small compared to most birds. It's because she has no pectoral flight muscles. She never developed those. She also didn't develop her adult feathers, her real flight feathers, until she was two. If you remember, you know, most birds fledge in about 30 days, so she was quite a ways behind on that too. Or just developmentally, because of the disease, it took her a long time to get everything figured out there. And, her body working like an adult, adult owl's body. So she can't fly. She can flutter around in her cage. She'll kind of flutter from one perch to the other. We have a, her cage is seven by seven by seven feet. It's real big. And we have cavities in it, just like a, it, similar to a wood duck house. That's kind of what it looks like, but it's for Eastern Street Owl. And three perches and tree branches. So we try to mimic and lots of big windows that she can see out. So basically she has a, as natural of a life as she can have for an owl. We don't name her. We feed her mice and, you know, some birds, like I said. So we try to give her just a, a normal bird life. Taking her out and putting her on my finger isn't a daily event. It's only one or two or sometimes three times a week. And sometimes not at all because some bird species, they want to be handled more, a little bit more when they're captive. She, not eastern screech owls, she's content being in her cage for about two or three days. But at the same time, she seems fairly content having people hold her too, which typically, you know, a wild bird wouldn't at all.